Thanks. Thanks. Still ahead, a snake story with style. A family with 12 snakes is running out of room for their babies. If you're serpent friendly, you can help out. We'll explain later in the show. And the next come up short in the... Well, a local family scaling back on its exotic pet collection. If you're not intimidated by large, limbless reptiles, you may want to slither at the chance to get your hands on one of these. Deanna Connell sheds some light on the story. The sign in the window may be just a wee bit deceiving. After all, you can survive a dog's bite, but a python's squeeze? Billy, do you think you're hungry? Coralurus, their two monster-sized pythons, have already eaten. These two are smitten with the crawling creatures. You'll find the serpents caged up in just about every room of the house. This is a joke of carpet python. In the living room and the bedroom. She's just heading on out. Not in our job. But they're having to scale back their love affair with snakes. Coralie to move into a smaller place. So how about it? Want to give a cute, cuddly snake a home? They're quiet. They don't take much as far as care. Now this is a 15-foot Burmese python that needs a home. Keep in mind, depending on feeding habits and size of its cage, it can grow to up to 23 feet long. They hope someone will buy their snakes. If you're looking for perks to owning a python, how about keeping away unwanted visitors? She, uh, she doesn't, my brother has never been here. Uh, it, it does scare people off. You bet it does. I wonder if the rabbit knows it's dinner time. Anna Connell for Eyewitness News. Okay, so illegal, so you can't buy them. They fall into the city's exotic pet ordinance. Okay, I'm moving I live outside the city limits, but I just think they're illegal. See you at 11. Good night.